We are headed out the door right now. It turns out that a set of our patrons we had dinner with the other night, Bob and Debbie, own one of the new Seawind 1160 lights catamarans. And even though the Annapolis Boat Show is not actually going on this weekend, I think they're still doing a little get together at their marina. So they invited us out with them. Uh, we're gonna go check it out, potentially go for a sail. But the good thing is the rain's holding out because it was supposed to be a kind of a cloudy rainy day, but we're gonna drive over there and check out the new sequence. And I think we have found where the event is being held. So now we just need to find our friends. We're about to hop aboard the 1160 to take a look around before we go sail it. But while we're on the docks, we saw another set of infamous sailors here, the guys from 59 North. Don't know if they're aboard or not, but through two boats are here, so that's kind of cool to see too. Have fun, guys. Show up. <laughs> right. Just kind of digging through the bowels of this um, 1160 light. Neat thing is because this doesn't have um, inboard engines, outboards, they actually still have the engine bed here, it looks like, where if you were to have the ones with inboard diesels in, in this boat, uh, kind of where they are to go, they were able to because of course you're saving weight with going with outboards versus diesel engine. They're actually able to put a generator in here and then cleverly they just use the mounts um, that are already there for the engine bed. Gives you good access then, all that space. Yeah, not a bad setup actually. On this side we see one of the gravity fed holding tanks. So to open it or to release it all you have to do is just Flip that down, open up your lower seacock here, and when you're offshore, you can empty your holding tank. Yeah, this is beautifully laid out. And we're free of the dock. Just about ready to hit some open waters. That's getting ready to tail. Just out of the gate, what do you think about? Yeah. Good player in the sail. Yeah. No idea yet. We'll find out. <laughs> so it's going to be a shorter outing, just to kind of get a little feel for it. But yeah, so far we're doing just under four knots and about seven and a half knots wind. I got put in charge. So now I'm looking out for traffic, reading charts, doing all that kind of fun stuff. The 1260, that's for show, is now out passing up. Doesn't that look nice? <laughs> <laughs>
Loving the view. This is great. really cool experience and really nice testing out something that's going to be close to the max cruise so we can kind of know what to expect get ideas bounce ideas really nice time out here we're matt and jessica after eight years of the nomadic lifestyle sailing the world refitting an aluminum boat and then sailing the world again We've decided to stop once more to build a brand new catamaran. We've just sold our last boat, and now we're on the hunt for the perfect build site, meeting up with friends and touring other boats along the way. Subscribe, and thanks for joining our adventure. Morning of departure, and we're getting ready to sail bright and early. Well, it's about 7.30 a.m. right now. We're gonna head over to Jeff and Cam's house, and then we're all gonna pile in their car, head over to the marina and hop on the boat. And I think it's gonna be about a 20 mile sail to St. Michael, so hopefully we'll be there by lunchtime. There's the Chesapeake. Oh, Sabre. Yeah. Oh, look at our beautiful captain at the helm. It's okay to let go ashore, Matt. And we are officially underway right now. Cam did an amazing job getting out of that spot. That was just a piece of like magic that you could fit a 36 foot boat in there. So heading for open waters and I think then we're gonna get the spinnaker up. Jeff may have found some really good fishing because there is like a boat, a little fisher right there and there are so many birds flying around though. We'll give it a minute. So we're gonna see if we're, we can catch lunch right now. <laughs> well, in the meantime. And Matt was all ready to go. We're almost in a race now. Well, there's some strangers next to us running their kite, but then also right behind us is our friend Bobby that's joining us. You may know him from his own channel, Sailing Doodles. And so right now he's got his mizzen mane up and his spinnaker, so yeah, he might end up kicking our butts if we don't keep going here soon. Who do you think's gonna win the race? Uh, Bobby, because I'm pretty sure he's still <laughs> As are we though. Oh, well yeah, we've got, I think we're in neutral. No, we're in gear. Just like a typical head sail yeah. type of thing. So you want just a slight curl on uh, the the leech of the, the uh, spinnaker, basically. That means you're getting full drive out of it. Right, yeah. Uh, typically like an inch to three inches of, of curl. 
Normally it would be adjusting the tap a little bit, but uh, we're about maxed out what we can do with that. Like the light winds where you can just hold the hold sheet, it, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. pull it in, let her out. How does it feel to be spinnaker sailing, you guys? It's a first for us. Yeah, we seem to be losing the wind or it's shifting. Bobby just took in his head sail. We're gonna, we're gonna ride this out. Are we gonna tuck in back on the creek there? Oh yeah. yeah. Back by uh, by wedding crashers. Um, this is gonna be motor. Mm -hmm. That's right. Would you say this is right now, like the Eastern Bay or Eastern, Eastern Shore? Eastern Bay. Eastern Bay. Eastern Bay, yeah. Good for sailing. Good for sailing. You usually get a pretty good run down the Eastern Bay. Feels pretty nice right now. Yeah. Now the engine is off. And now we are sailing. Ah, listen to that sound. Coming into the harbor of St. Michael's now, we had a beautiful sail, even though the wind was in and out for parts of it there near the end, we got it back. And it seems like this is the hopping spot for the weekend. There's just hordes of boats coming in after us. Lots of them already anchored here. So I think we're gonna be in for a really fun weekend. Anchor is down for like five minutes and Matt has the need for speed. on our way to the party boat using Bobby's tender and chauffeur. <laughs> All the way to the party boat. All the way to the party boat. It's Bobby's birthday. She just got a bikini. But I got a present. I got a Doodles bikini. That's right. It might be a few months before I get in it. I don't think it's quite warm enough yet. Come on, there's always an excuse to wear a bikini. <laughs> How many feet is this? Well, it's 62 well away. Wow. Lots of deck space here. Good for partying. Probably really good for warm weather.
For that A? Yeah. How old, how old was the professor? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? Happy birthday. Oh, Thank you guys. Happy birthday. 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 That's amazing. I wasn't expecting this. Awesome. That was so cool. I feel like I'm at a club and I just got a bottle of Cristal. Yeah. <laughs>